Halfway for Free is a short story leaves you with so much to consider. Set in, 2060, 40 years of future. It nearly brings humankind round trip. From presume archaic way of thinking and living to assumed freedom, or is it? Is life truly better without kids, without the agony, duty, and expanded carbon impression that are consequences of bringing a new life into the world? Has conception prevention freed women, giving them decision over their bodies? Or on the other hand has it rather become a method of controlling them? It's 2060 and the world has up to 9 million people however, with extremist changes, it's going down to 6 million, although few think that a better objective would be 3 million people. Despite the fact that it's not illegal to have a kid, doing so is made practically unimaginable because of housing, work, medical care and social acknowledgement being eliminated from the people who may do so. Youngsters just happen to tycoons, who can stand to live without government incentives and support, or to revolutionary individuals who leave typical society, to live away from all the great things the government provides, freely accommodating themselves and their similarly invested network. There are a lot of things in this little story and I'd love for it to turn into a full-length novel, so we could follow Miriam and her companion, as they explore an alternative that the vast majority could never consider. Poor Miriam gets an earful from her own YAR gadget, when she looks for data about pregnancy and childbirth. At the point when it's totally disgorged the manner in which the YAR puts it, I'm shocked anybody would willfully get pregnant. Emma Donahue's Halfway to Free is part of Out of Line, a sharp collection of enraging, funny, and hopeful stories of women's escape and empowerment. The characters are human, likable, and very real. The story has the capability of being written as decent full-length novel, anyway the writer didn't end suddenly either and was able to complete this delightful short story without leaving the peruser hanging. As I would like to think, this is a best amongst other short stories in this assortment.